Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Welcome to Victorious Daily Devotion in the victorious name of Jesus Christ. Today's topic, never give up but press on. Everyone faces hardship, injustice, adversity, sickness, loss of loved ones, failures, ups and downs in life and life's challenges. Philippians 3:14 says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I repeat, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. to press towards the mark is to faithfully continue on the straight and narrow path which leads to eternal life with our savior and our father in heaven while discouragement because of failures or defeats or life not up to our expectations can rob peace joy contentment and loss of hope and thereby we may tend to give up in the middle but i know people whom i observe appear to be in an impossible situation but then a few years later however to my joy and surprise they were in a terrific place in terms of their circumstances and their position or in their emotions what could be the reason well they never gave up amidst adversities difficult challenges and hardship in life instead of sulking in self pity or blaming others for their situation they chose to come back and believe god and believe in themselves step out in faith and come out of that emotional self pity we see initially habakkuk the prophet cried out desperately questioning the lord almighty saying how long shall i cry and you will not hear why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble well both prayer and hard work are needed to climb the mount everest of success even when we are down and out when we work hard together with persistent prayers we can walk into an impossible situation climb the mountains of challenges and move in confidence in ways mightier than we can imagine do you and i can live in eager expectations of what the lord will do or Do we choose to linger in depths of despair, desperation and self-pity? Well, it's up to us. Can we not turn our disappointments, rejections and depression to his appointments and blessings like prophet Habakkuk? In the end, as we all know, Habakkuk comes back triumphantly, concluding his positive conversation with God in Habakkuk 3:17 to 19, saying, "Though the fig tree may not blossom, and fruit be on the vines though the labor of the olive may fail and the fields yield no fruit yet yet i will rejoice in the lord i will joy in the god of my salvation gracious loving heavenly father help us to have our focus on our goal and on our vision and on you in spite of ups and downs in life which is part of our life in spite of our failures and fall in our temptations help us not to be defeated not disheartened not to stay in the sin but rise and make a glorious triumph glorious and make a glorious triumphant and victorious comeback like the prophet habakkuk give us your grace father not to give up but to press on to the high calling in jesus Matchless name we pray amen